Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm taking a look at a new WordPress plugin called Stack. So what exactly is Stack? Well, Stack is a WordPress plugin designed to allow you to create all sorts of pop-ups. Now, I will be the first one to admit, when I first heard that Stack was a pop-up plugin, I wasn't too excited. I mean, I know that pop-ups are valuable. They're all on all the high-end sites. They're all over the internet. They have been used for a long time and quite simply, pop-ups work. The problem was there's like a million of them. I mean, there's a million pop-up plugins that already exist. And I was thinking to myself, oh, yay, whoop de doo another pop-up plugin. But when I was talking to Bobby Walker on Facebook, he told me that Stack offers some features that you just don't see in other plugins. And I wanted to take a look at it and I wanted to see if it really does live up to everything he told me that it was going to. So this is actually the third version of Stack that I've been given for testing. And in each version that I was given, I was able to see that they added new features, new options, and new functionality. And this functionality is based on their testing, based on feedback from their beta testers, and it just keeps getting better and better each time. So once you load up Stack, the very first thing that you noticed, and the thing that I noticed at least, was these two buttons right here. And you can see tutorials and support. And I was really pleased to see these two things because quite often, a lot of times, there's no tutorials and there's no support built into the plugin. But with Stack, it's right here, it's right in front of you, and it's very easy to get. And what happens is, like if you click on this Tutorials button, it opens up in a new browser. And you can actually see there are tutorials here for everything you could possibly want to do with this software. And these tutorials are really well done. They're easy to follow. They're very clear. Uh, so I was really pleased to see this, that they have these tutorials built right into the software and that it opens in a new browser window. So that way, if you're doing something and you're in the middle of working and you need some help, you're not real sure how to do it, you can go ahead and click the tutorials button and go right over to a new browser tab and watch the tutorial without having to like close your work or log into a membership area. It's just a really cool thing and it makes it a lot easier to use the software. If you need assistance beyond the tutorials, they also have this support tab, which opens up in a new browser and will allow you to submit a support ticket so you can get assistance. All right, so let's actually dive into the plugin itself and I can show you some of the features, some of the things that it does, what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Because although this is a great plugin, there are some things that I don't particularly like about it and that I wish were a little bit different. And let me show you exactly what I mean though. So I'm just going to click on edit and edit the stack that I've already created. So here we are and I'm actually editing my stack and you can see that there are lots of options. You can create opt-ins, you can create media boxes that have a video in them or a graphic, you can create timers, you can create surveys, and you can create offers. And what's really cool about stack is you can add these things together so you can mix like an opt-in with a timer or a media with an opt-in and you can put them next to each other well actually one on top of another to create a larger multi-dimensional pop-up and I think that's actually where this gets its name from because that's what you're doing you're stacking these different options to build your pop-up now each one of these options is completely customizable um, I was actually interested in the survey just because for a long time I wanted a good survey plug-in for my own website uh, so I created a test survey and you can put in anything you want you can have an unlimited number of questions the text the text color uh, the background colors the button colors the button text everything is completely customizable uh, they really did a fantastic job on making this a customizable software so for example if I want to edit the text I can click on this drop down and select the text that I want to ed edit and then I can change it to anything I want. So let's just say I want to change this button here. Instead of it saying done, I want it to say finish. So I can go down here and I'll click on the done button text and I'll change this to finish. And now I've changed the button that simple and that easy. And what's really cool too is it has this live preview over here. So as you're changing things, it actually changes the preview live so you can see what it's gonna look like before you even finish it, before you even save the changes. I can make sure that this is exactly the way I want it, 
and then click save and I'm all finished it's gonna look exactly the way it does inside of the preview so I actually put a capital F in the finish so I want to capitalize the next and I'll go ahead and click on the next and you can see it changes live in the preview now the surveys is what I was interested in but another thing that a lot of people are going to be interested in is going to be the opt-in so you can go ahead and click on the opt-in section and you can create your own opt-in as well now again this is fully customizable you can actually see in this one I changed the button text I changed all the text inside of the opt-in and I changed the background colors I can also integrate with my autoresponder if I want this automatically integrates with Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp and eye contact so it pretty much covers all of the big name autoresponders now there are going to be other autoresponders uh, that people may be using that are not one of these in the list but if you're using one of those other autoresponders you can download a CSV of your opt-ins and import it but most people are probably going to be covered by these four uh, as a matter of fact most people are probably going to be covered by the first three Aweber, GetResponse or MailChimp the media option is pretty basic and straightforward you can add a video or a graphic that's pretty simple and there's not a real lot to talk about in the media option but again it is customizable you can change the background you can change the text and you can have your own video or you can have your own graphic as well same thing with the timer the timer is pretty self-explanatory you can have a countdown timer you can have an end date you can include any of these options like timer only do you want to have a close button do you want to include the month the year and do you want to include the user aware I'm not real sure what this user aware here is and this actually gives me an, uh, an opportunity to show you another feature of this software that they added to make it easy to use um, if you want to have immediate answers on something like I don't know what this user aware is see this little icon I can mouse over that and that will tell me what this is so it says make your timer show the same set countdown amount to each new visitor regardless of the date uh, so that's actually if you wanted to have like an evergreen timer you would click that um, and I was really happy to see that they have these in here as well because sometimes you just need a quick answer to what a setting is and you don't want to go and watch like a huge tutorial video so you can just mouse over these and it will tell you what that particular setting is and you can actually see there are tons of them there's all over for every single option for every single setting they have these tool tips that will give you inline help so I'm just gonna fill in this timer because I want to show you how this works when you stack it and when you make your own pop-up so I'm gonna choose a countdown date and this is the date that I wanted to count down to I'll just pick a date at random and I want to have this X button you can see that there's an X button so that I can close the timer if I want to and I can turn that on or off I'm actually gonna leave that on and for the heading text I'm gonna clear that out I don't want any heading text and the subheading text I'm gonna close that out as well I just want a blank timer because I'm going to stack this on top of my opt-in now in order to get it to match my opt-in I need to change this to a red color that I used for my opt-in so I'm gonna go ahead and heading background and I will change the color to a nice red alright so now the timer matches my opt-in form I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes so now that I have my timer I have my opt-in form let me go over to the dashboard and I want to show you how the stack works so you can see right here it says choose template well this is where I can choose whether or not I want to stack different things together so if I leave it on just survey it's only going to show the survey and you can actually see the little preview here that's going to show me basically what it's going to look like it's a little template preview here but I want to have an opt-in so now it's going to change to opt-in and it will show my opt-in it'll show the form that is in the opt-in settings right here this right here but let's say we want to stack something we want to put two things together so now what I could do is choose opt-in plus timer and you can see what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna go ahead and save the changes and I'm gonna preview it so here we are on my testing page and that's where I decided to add the stack now you can see how it slid down from the top that's because I chose that option I chose the slide down animation there's actually several other animations I mean you can even edit the overlay you can see how there's this little overlay here 
uh, that changes kind of fades out and darkens the background that's totally customizable as well I could use a different color I can change the opacity I could have a video if I want I could have a graphic if I want again this thing is totally customizable it really is a powerful plugin as far as opt-ins go now I want to point something out in this in particular and what you can see here is you can see the timer and you see how it kind of sticks out a little bit past its container well that's actually not the fault of this plugin but it is an inherent problem with WordPress plugins now the reason I say it's not a fault of the plugin is because this is not caused by a flaw inside of the plugin I actually spent a lot of time looking into this because initially I thought it was a problem with the plugin but when I looked into it what it is is it's actually a CSS error inside of my template and that's what I mean when I say it's an inherent flaw in WordPress plugins because if you have a problem in your template it might translate over to the plugin as well like you can see this sticks out a little too far but it's not a problem with the plugin it's a problem with my template and it's a flaw in the theme that I'm using inside of WordPress so we can actually put that aside and we can ignore that knowing that it's not a problem with the plugin it's a problem with my site so I want to go and change a couple of other settings and show you some of the other options that you can do with this let me go ahead and close this out and take you back to the plugin so here I am back on the plugin and I want to change some of the options so you can see right down here where it says set your trigger action now I have this set at time to have it set to activate the pop-up in three seconds but you can actually change this you can change it to click away you can change it to scroll so if the person scrolls down so far on the page it will automatically trigger it you can pick combinations so like timed or click away or timed or scroll or timed or scroll or click away it's really customizable and it gives you a lot of flexibility for how you want to engage your user it also has the animations so I can select a couple of animations actually there's a lot of animations here um, I actually have it swinging down from the top but there are other ones like swing wobble fade in fade in left right up down top uh, slide in there's bounce there's flip there's all kinds of really cool ones I actually want to see what Tada does. And you know, I'm going to change the format as well. I'm going to get rid of that timer. So I'm going to go back to just showing the opt in. And I will save and preview. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It catches your attention. There's no way that you're not going to notice that pop in with that Tada animation. But even if you don't like that one, there are a lot of other ones to choose from. You can also choose the size, and that is the size of the box. So I have it set at 500 pixels. I can change that to 700, 800, whatever I want, so that way I can have it as big or as small as I want. Now, this is actually something that is new here in this version, this display. And what this does is it allows me to pinpoint exactly where the pop-up shows on my website. So I have it shown right here. Let me show you what I mean. If I move it over here far to the left, the pop-up on my website will actually appear far on the left. If I move it in the right, the pop-up will appear on the right. Uh, and this is pretty cool, but it's also one of the things that I don't particularly like. I, I honestly don't like this that much. And the reason I don't like it is it's very difficult to find the center of your website. So if I want my web my pop-up to be centered in my website, it's difficult to find that um, because actually putting it in the center isn't the center. What it is is this is the upper left-hand corner of the pop-up. So if I put it in the center, it will actually be on the right hand because it's the upper left-hand corner. In order to get it centered, I have to kind of put it off-center a little bit which is difficult because you have to imagine like how wide it's going to be with your width setting so I really wish there was kind of like a an option here to just check maybe to select center or to allow you to center it very easily and override this um, but that doesn't exist this is one of the cases where I think that they maybe added one feature too many uh, this is a cool feature it's nice that they added it but it can kind of be a pain as well so moving over there are a lot of other options as well I mean this thing already has a ton of options I really didn't think it could have any more but they actually made it even more customizable than it already is uh, so you can actually change things like the call to action button you can make that animate uh, you can change things like the page animation which some of the stacks will allow the page to actually animate so 
not only does your stack animate, but there's a little like transition effect inside of your web page. And you can do this. This is actually really cool, and I like to see this. You can lock the page. So if I click this, the page will actually lock until they complete the stack. So if I have an opt-in or I have a survey, the page will lock until they complete that. And what's really cool about that is you can now like make some of your pages exclusive. So only people that opt in or only people that complete the survey can get the information that's on the page. And uh, that was pretty cool and it was a nice feature and I was glad to see that happen. They also have where you can enter a redirect URL. So let's just say I have an opt-in and once people complete the opt-in I want to redirect them somewhere either to a download or something like that. Uh, I can put that redirect URL in here if I choose. Now with all of this customizability, uh, there was one thing that I noticed that I really didn't care for too much and I was kind of sad to see the way this works. If you go all the way up on the top, it's going to ask you where you want to put your stack. And you can see you can choose any of the pages on your website and you can put the stack on any page that's a part of your blog. The problem is that some blogs don't have pages. Some blogs have posts. For example, if you go to my blog, you go to brettretecki.com, most of my content is in the form of posts. It's not pages. Pages and posts are different in WordPress. And, uh, you know, having this let you select a page to put it on makes it kind of useless for people that have the majority of their content in posts like I do. So if you have a, a real blog where you have a lot of posts, you're only going to be able to put your stack on your pages, so such as your home page or you know specific pages. You're not going to be able to put this on your post, and I was kind of sad to see that because it really does limit where you can put your stack. Uh, I would have liked to have seen you know a, a, a short code or something that you can get and post it inside of your post and have that add your stack to your post, but that's just not in here, and I, I'm really not sure why they chose to limit this to only pages. Now, if you have a WordPress site that uses pages, you know, for the most of its content, or that at least has pages that people are normally going to visit, this is going to be useful to you. It's going to be great for you. If you have a WordPress site that is primarily posts like mine, where I do blog posts, this isn't going to be the best option. All right, so with that in mind, uh, my final thoughts on this are even though it does have certain limitations, specifically the fact that it can only be used on pages and not on posts, this is a really customizable, really flexible, and really powerful WordPress plugin. It's pretty obvious for me that it's done professionally, and I actually looked at the WordPress code for this plugin as well. It is well written. It is a professionally designed and professionally made pop-up script. It's well thought out and is extremely customizable. I mean, honestly, it's so customizable that some of the options can be a little overwhelming, but if you take a moment to watch these tutorial videos, it will be easy for you to use. Honestly, I only showed about a quarter of what this thing can do. Just because if I showed everything that it can do, the video would be an hour and a half long. So overall, I'm going to say if you use a WordPress site that primarily uses pages for the content, this is going to be a solid investment. You can create opt-ins, you can create timers, you can create media, you create surveys, you can create all kinds of really cool pop-ups to capture leads, to capture feedback from your customers and your site visitors, and to redirect them to offers. You can do all kinds of things, pretty much anything you can possibly think of.